All right, folks, I'm just gonna try to show you a couple of things on this online circuit builder. Uh, some of it's pretty self-explanatory, but there's a couple of, you know, potentially smaller glitches and things that people uh, seem to have trouble with as they're constructing, uh, as they're constructing circuits. So I'll kind of try to show you a few of those. So the first thing is if you guys want to use any of these items on the left-hand side, such as wire, battery, light bulb, resistors, and switches, you literally just take them and drag them right off um, the board over here and put them on the screen. You can adjust the voltage of the batteries, but if you just click on the battery and you go to the bottom, you can adjust the voltage. We're gonna leave everything at nine volts, so don't mess with that part of it. We just wanna make sure that it's they're always the same. So as you add batteries uh, and so forth, they you know are all the same. So if you have one, it's gonna be nine volts, and two of them together here will give you 18. You can see there's little circles when you add devices or subtract devices. You gotta make sure that those circles are making contact in order for them to be you know, counted as connected. And <clears throat> some of these circuits, when you build them, get a little confusing, especially as to where the light bulbs go and how they're connected. So I'm gonna build like a parallel circuit and I'll show you one of the most common mistakes that people make. So the light bulb itself, again, it has two circles on it. There's, and they're not really, you know, you could tip it sideways so that these circles are aligned a little bit better. But when you build a parallel circuit, when you connect this, in order for it to be parallel, you have to make sure that the electricity doesn't run through the light bulb when you put the second bulb on. So for example, if I'm connecting the wire there, uh, if we look closely, I gotta make sure that it's tilted something like this. So on the one side of the battery, the electricity isn't going all the way through the light bulb quite yet. We wanna make sure it gives it multiple paths for it to flow through such as this, and then we can kind of close off we kind of close off the other sides. Some of the ways to check to make sure everything's fully connected is make sure all the light bulbs are illuminated. So here the first one, there's one light bulb going, but the second one's not connected. If you build if you build the circuit and for some reason some of the light bulbs are not, you know, lit up or you don't see the electrons flowing through, then you know you probably did something wrong. And in terms of using the voltmeter or the amp meter, you basically just take it right off the screen and you have to put the prongs I show you different locations in the diagrams you got to make sure that you get a reading uh, you'll never get a voltage of zero if you go across any circuit that's actually flowing so when you put the prongs on there make sure that you're getting a number here if these are interchanged let's just say for example you flip the prongs around you put positive on negative and negative on positive notice that the value doesn't change it just changes from positive to negative nine volts in the answers, when you answer the questions, if for some reason you don't see a negative voltage on there, that's why. Uh, so don't think that I'm trying to confuse you by putting positive or negatives. There's only gonna be one correct value. So don't, if you get negative nine volts or negative three volts or whatever it happens to be, just know that that's the same as positive. It just depends on where you put it. And then the uh, amp meter that you guys use, um, it's basically got a selector for it which you guys will kind of drop into place just like the voltmeter. But make sure you get a reading on it also so that everything everything works out. Uh, for the most part, that's basically it. If you have any problems, the first thing I always tell people to check is to check the connections because it's pretty common that when you put these together, you'll get a broken connection somewhere. So I'll just like take this one apart for some reason. Like maybe I get a connection like this and I move, you know, sometimes people see this and they think, Oh, well, it's connected. I can see the wire is connected. Well, if electrons are not flowing through the wire, then it hasn't made a complete circuit. So here it's it's bypassing the one light bulb. So you got to make sure that the circles are connected. So as you move this around, make sure that they actually connect and everything works properly. So that's about uh, the basics for it for now. I think you guys will find the rest uh, intuitive as you go through it. So let me know if you got any questions and we'll go from there. Have a good week.